What do you think about how aliens are being portrayed in those science fiction movies? Yeah, I, I reckon they're all unimaginative. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird! It's a bird! My name is Mazlan Othman. I was formerly the director of the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs in Vienna, Austria. When we learned physics, it was the physics of, you know, what's out there that fascinated me. I love the mystery of space, the fact that you don't have all the answers. We don't know 95% of the universe out there. What is it out there? What makes our universe tick? How did we come here in the first place? We're only just beginning to grace the knowledge there. The fact that I can't wrap my head around uh, everything out there. There's no reason why there aren't life outside of the Earth. That's what we call them extraterrestrial life. We have found here on Earth life in extremely unlikely situations. But if you think about it, as long as life can begin, then life can become complex as it did on Earth. So what's the likelihood of bacterial life evolving to become complex organisms? Of course, if you look at one planet, that probability is very low. But remember that there are thousands of millions of stars in the Milky Way, which is one galaxy, and there are hundreds of millions of galaxies in the entire universe. And now we are seeing that there need not only be one universe like ours, but there could be infinite number of universes. Scientifically, there is no reason why life outside of Earth should not exist. But within the context of a future where technology is going to play a major role, how is space going to figure in that really wonderful future with robots and artificial intelligence? Some people are scared of that future. I'm just so excited just that I would live long enough to see that future, but it's going to be a really exciting future. You will realize how fragile the Earth is and how we are in the cradle of the universe. But if you look at the Earth from far, it doesn't matter what sort of house you live in, uh, what sort of car you drive, what sort of job you have. We are one race. And that anything you do affects everybody else on this Earth. If somebody walked in there right now and said to me, Mazla, we're going to take you on a one-way trip to Mars. You must go now as you are, and we probably can't take you back home. I say, sure, let's go. Why not? <laughs>